I'm Andre Asiman, the author of the novel Call Me By Your Name. I am Luca Guadagnino, I am the director and co-producer of Call Me By Your Name, the movie. Call Me By Your Name is a novel about the love of two individuals. One is 17 years old, the other one is 24 years old. It happens sort of unpredictably, and yet it blossoms and it develops, and it stays with them for the rest of their lives. It's April of 2005, I'm supposed to go to Italy. I just find out that I'm not going to go to Italy. I'm very unhappy and very frustrated, so I start writing a novel that is going to be happening in Italy. And I begin to think of a house, I think of a beach, and I think of a pine alley that leads to the house. And sure enough, if you have a pine alley, then you have a car coming in. And when the car comes in, I have to decide who is going to come out of the car. Professor Perlman. Welcome. Thank you so much. So nice. Oh, my goodness, you're, you're bigger than your picture. Well, I couldn't get all of me in the photo. <laughs> and there was always someone that made me very nervous or who intimidated me, who was older than I was. And suddenly I said, why not bring this character back? How you doing? Nice to meet you, Elliot. The idea and the concept of moving the action to my hometown, I knew the places so well that I could investigate more deeply the relationship between space and figure and make sure that we were not going for like a sort of postcard imagination of Italy in the 80s in the summer. The place is lush with fruit. There are scents all over the place and the boy takes the fruit in his bedroom and begins to eat it. And as in the movie, there's juices all over him. And basically, he applies the fruit in a place of his body that we will not name. And he ejaculates into it. And then I said, OK, Andre, I cannot believe that you wrote this scene. This is disgusting. But I, I, I decided to keep it. I like to joke about the fact that sometimes, that during the process of making the film, I also question the actual physical act that it cannot happen. I, did, I thought it wasn't possible. <laughs> and so I had to try before in order to understand. And I, I understood that it was possible, actually. My problem was, how do you make that individual experience a collective experience with the brutality of the images? And I really was uh, torn. I think that both the novel and the film do one thing that is so essential. There is no accident, there is no death, there is no banning of any sexual proclivity. All right, later. These are two individuals who have a relationship, and I think it should serve as a model for essentially a happy romance. <laughs> 